the space industry is witnessing a dramatic turning point. While SpaceX has long dominated the commercial launch market, a formidable challenger is emerging from an unexpected corner. Rocket Lab, already the second most active U.S. aerospace company, is about to unveil their most ambitious project yet, the Neutron Rocket. This isn't just another rocket. With its innovative carbon fiber construction, groundbreaking 3D printed components, and a revolutionary reusable fairing system, Neutron represents a fresh approach to medium lift launch vehicles. And with a development cost of just $300 million, a fraction of its competitors, it's positioning itself as a serious contender in the U.S. Space Force's National Security Space Launch Program. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues pushing boundaries, achieving their 400th successful Falcon launch and maintaining their critical role in ISS operations. But recent technical challenges have caught NASA's attention, raising important questions about the balance between rapid progress and operational safety. From Rocket Lab's bold entrance into the medium lift market to SpaceX's latest milestones and challenges, we're exploring the evolving dynamics of America's space race. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Let's dive right in. Rocket Lab's rise from a small launch provider to a potential SpaceX competitor is nothing short of remarkable. Their Electron rocket has already achieved an impressive milestone, 10 successful launches in a single year. This achievement becomes even more significant when compared to the slower progress of industry veterans like ULA and Blue Origin. But the real game changer is Neutron. This next generation rocket represents more than just an upgrade. It's Rocket Lab's bold declaration that they're ready to compete in the big leagues. The company's innovative approach to manufacturing sets Neutron apart in several key ways. First, there's the extensive use of 3D printing technology. While other companies have experimented with additive manufacturing, Rocket Lab has made it central to Neutron's production. This strategy significantly reduces both manufacturing complexities and production time allowing them to scale up operations faster than traditional methods would allow. Then there's the revolutionary carbon fiber construction. Unlike SpaceX's stainless steel approach with Starship, Neutron's lightweight carbon fiber design prioritizes thrust to mass efficiency. While this material might be less durable during re-entry, the weight savings translate directly into increased payload capacity, a crucial advantage in the competitive launch market. Perhaps the most innovative feature is Neutron's unique fairing design. Unlike traditional fairings that separate and fall away during launch, Neutron's fairing remains attached to the rocket and partially opens like a flower to deploy payloads. This design isn't just visually striking, it eliminates the need for fairing recovery operations and significantly reduces refurbishment time and costs. The speed of Neutron's development has been particularly impressive. In just three years since its announcement, Rocket Lab has already completed the first successful test of its Archimedes engine. This rapid progress stands in stark contrast to competitors like Blue Origin's New Glenn and ULA's Vulcan, both of which have faced significant delays despite longer development timelines. What makes this achievement even more remarkable is the budget. With an estimated development cost between $250 to $300 million, Neutron is being built at a fraction of what traditional aerospace companies spend on new rocket development. This cost-effective approach could revolutionize how the industry thinks about rocket development and production. The timing of Neutron's development couldn't be better. The U.S. Space Force's National Security Space Launch Program is actively seeking to expand its roster of launch providers. Current contractors include SpaceX, ULA, and Blue Origin. But the program's structure specifically encourages new competitors to challenge these established players. The December 2025 deadline for launch readiness might seem ambitious, but Rocket Lab's CEO Peter Beck remains confident. With Neutron's first flight targeted for mid-2025, the company appears well-positioned to meet these requirements and potentially secure valuable military contracts. Meanwhile, SpaceX continues to demonstrate its operational prowess, recently completing its 400th successful Falcon launch. The CRS-31 cargo mission to the International Space Station showcased the company's reliability, delivering 6,000 pounds of crucial supplies and scientific equipment. 
The mission's booster, B-1083, achieved its fifth successful landing, adding to SpaceX's impressive record of 362 booster recoveries. However, recent events have highlighted the challenges of maintaining safety standards while pushing operational boundaries. NASA's Aerospace Safety Advisory Panel has raised concerns about three consecutive issues over three months with Falcon 9 rockets. These include a second stage problem in July, a booster landing failure in August, and an engine issue during the Crew-9 mission in September. While none of these issues compromise mission objectives, they've prompted important discussions about the balance between rapid launch cadence and operational safety. Former astronaut Kent Rominger emphasized the need for significant attention to detail as hardware ages and operations increase in frequency. SpaceX's response to these challenges demonstrates why they remain the industry leader. Their ability to quickly identify and resolve issues, often in days or weeks rather than months or years, sets them apart from competitors. This combination of rapid problem solving and transparent safety protocols continues to earn them trust from both commercial and government clients. The emergence of Neutron represents a pivotal moment in commercial spaceflight. While SpaceX maintains its position as the industry leader, Rocket Lab's innovative approach and rapid development pace suggest we're entering a new era of competition in space launch services. The question isn't whether Rocket Lab can match SpaceX's current capabilities. It's whether their fresh approach to rocket design and manufacturing will forge a new path in the industry's evolution. As we look ahead to 2025, the space launch industry stands at a fascinating crossroads. While SpaceX continues to dominate with its impressive track record of 400 successful launches, Rocket Lab's Neutron represents more than just another competitor. It symbolizes a new approach to rocket development that could reshape the entire industry. The contrast couldn't be more striking. SpaceX's proven reliability and scale facing off against Rocket Lab's innovative engineering and cost-efficient development. Both companies are writing their own chapters in the story of commercial spaceflight, but in distinctly different ways. SpaceX pushes the boundaries of operational tempo while carefully managing safety concerns, while Rocket Lab challenges traditional aerospace development with its rapid, innovative approach. This competition isn't just good for the companies involved. It's crucial for the future of space exploration. As Neutron prepares for its 2025 debut, we're witnessing the beginning of a new era in space launch services where innovation and efficiency drive progress as much as raw capability. If you want to stay updated on this evolving story and never miss any developments in the space industry, subscribe to Elon Musk 24 hours and hit that notification bell. Share your thoughts on Rocket Lab's chances against SpaceX in the comments below. And don't forget to drop a like if you found this analysis helpful. Until next time, Keep watching as history unfolds above us.